to each family to say amen. As today we commemorate the Annunciation of the birth of St. John the Baptist, uh, we just will focus a brief reflection on what is the grace and the gift of prayer. As you know, Zacharias had been offering the, to the Lord with Elizabeth for 50, 60 years, the same prayer for him to have a son. And this uh, was also his hope that he would be able to offer the incense as well for that time. The way that they selected the priests to offer incense was a very complicated one. They had 24 divisions, and each one of them were able two times a year to offer incense. And so when you do the calculations, it's something like one in 300,000 that he will get the chance to offer incense. And after they pick the five, they select the one that's going to offer the incense in the morning and evening. So this was his desire. But the Lord had postponed his chance to offer incense for the day that he will receive uh, the news of his son. And in the time of the hearing, the Archangel Gabriel gives him many uh, instructions about this grace. When you have been praying for something for a long time, for many years, there are some prayers that we pray and God answers them quickly. And there are some that take decades to be fulfilled. And this is the one where Zacharias received the great news from the Lord. <clears throat> the first thing he said, that you will receive joy and gladness. And he will be the source of joy for many people. When we petition the Lord for many years, and he answers our prayers, it brings forth joy. And the will of God always comes with joy. When he was disobedient for a time and what faith was lacking, then he was disciplined by the Lord uh, and had time to reflect. But his work will bring forth joy. And even in the day of the birth of St. John the Baptist, that uh, Zachariah rejoiced and the people rejoiced with him when his mouth was open. <clears throat> the second gift is that it says that he will be great in the sight of the Lord. The one who waits patiently with prayer will be great in the sight of the Lord. And when we look at the models, whether it's Job or whether it's Zacharias and Elizabeth or whether it was Abraham, as we saw in the book of reading of the Acts today, that the saints waited upon God for many years. And they became great because of this patience. They didn't lack in diligence. They weren't lacking in faith although their faith was tested. But in this time, when they relied upon the Lord, they became great in the sight of the Lord. The third thing was that he was filled with the Holy Spirit even since his mother's womb. And this is something very unique in the human history, as we know, when the child le left in the womb, beholding the presence of the Lord Christ. The womb of the church is the baptism and when we come out of the baptism, we receive the grace of the Holy Spirit, and we are filled with the grace of the Holy Spirit. And the grace of the Spirit gives many gifts to us time and time again, as we see in the book of Galatians. We know the will of God from the gifts of the Holy Spirit, when it increases our love, our joy, our faithfulness, our long-suffering even, uh, how that we have the grace of the Holy Spirit when we are fulfilling the will of God. During the time of trial, we don't see this. We may only see the difficulty. But when the Lord answers the prayer, the grace is manifest and known not only to us, but to others. And the final blessing is that uh, the work of St. John the Baptist, his will, his purpose in life was very clear. And through prayer, we find out, we discover very clearly what is our purpose and what is our call. His call was to turn the hearts of the people of Israel, to lead them to repentance, to prepare the way for the Lord. We all know this very clear message. We can recite the message of St. John the Baptist in one verse. And for many of the saints, one verse also signified their calling and their purpose in life. 
in when we beseech Lord, the Lord for any of our prayers and petitions, what most his desire is to declare to us is how that we also know our will and purpose. And all those things that we are asking the Lord for, it is only a means by which he declares this to us. That's why sometimes when we are praying and we're asking for an answer for one thing, God will give the answer for this as well, and sometimes even first. This message for St. John was why the, his ministry was only a few months, six months was able to do great work and was called the greatest among women, born of women. <clears throat> so for us, that our work, uh, when we beseech the Lord, also to see what is the, the calling and what is the direction that he has for us. It doesn't matter how long we live, but how we live and how we hear the voice of God faithfully in our ears and we are fulfilling his word, may the Lord give us the blessing of joy, the blessing of being obedient to his will, the blessing of being uh, fruitful in with the grace of the Holy Spirit and uh, doing work all of, uh, all of the days of our life so we can be glorious and, and be uh, well known in the sight of the Lord. May his blessing and glory be with us now and ever into the age of all ages. Oh, <laughs>